Now the other element that I had really quickly I'm going to go through is um, the uh, religious freedom that they were talking about. Uh, how serious do you, a problem do you think the use of religion to discriminate is in our country today? I think it's very serious because if you look around at anything going on in the country today, in the U.S. today, or any Western country like even Canada or the U.K., um, the use of religion to discriminate against others is rampant and there needs to be a swift end to this. You know, how serious a problem is the use of religion to, scrim to discriminate in California? I think it's somewhat serious. Unlike most states, California is actually more of a bastion of freedom, really, because we are more of a liberal sort of state and other you know, ide progressive ideas, and we are more of a open-minded state when it comes down to religious views and stuff. But of course, we still have our bigots, and so there is. So it is still s very much a serious issue. How high a priority do you think that the ACLU should place on each of the following areas: protecting women from employers using religious beliefs to justify denying women's uh, access to contraceptive coverage, that should be at number 10 high priority because women should have health care and they should have access to contraceptive, uh, contraceptives. I personally think, and as well as for men, I think that it's really an important issue um, and that people should not be discriminating against that. People should not be using that as a justifiable excuse. Um, protecting LGBT people from the use of religion to buy business to justify denial of services based on sexual orientation. Again, number 10 high priority because denying anybody access, whether it's to employment, you know, is ridiculous and to deny them access because of their sexual orientation, you know, such as a hospital, is even more ridiculous. It, it's frankly retarded. So, you know, we really do need to rethink things in this country just a little bit. Um, so, this next one, uh, efforts across the states to increase voting barriers, making it harder and often impossible for uh, poor minority and elderly citizens to make it to the polls. I'm very concerned about this. In fact, all these I pretty much wrote very uh, concerned because um, including uh, because I believe that denying anybody making it harder for anybody to vote in this country is a complete violation of the Constitution I think it's it's sickening really excessive use of force racial profiling local police use of style weapon uh, uh, military style weapons tactics abuses in the criminal justice system that are having a particularly harsh impact on people of color very concerned again I've talked about this you know I think the use of any sort of the use of force like that racial profiling military style weapons I, I'm opposed to that crap escalating efforts to impose increasingly severe restrictions on women's access to abortion again I'm very concerned about that I think women should have access to it if they need it I'm not saying go get, you know, have unprotected sex, get pregnant, and go keep having abortions. I'm not advocating that. I'm just saying women should have access to it if they don't um, have the means to provide. Attempts to, by advocates of creationism and intelligent design to impose their religious beliefs on others by interfering with the teachings of evolution. I'm very concerned about that because, frankly, I think the idea of creationism and intelligent design is something you can teach in a religious studies class but when it comes down to science it's not been proven and frankly I think that you know it's insulting to intelligence itself um, and plus I just don't like people in, you know shoving their religious views down my throat and including the Hobby Lobby thing individuals using their personal religious beliefs to the uh, deny others their fundamental freedoms yeah I'm very concerned about that because you know uh, again it, discriminating against others is just no 
Laws in 29 states that allow employers to fire or refuse to hire a person based solely on their sexual orientation. I'm very concerned about that because, again, just don't be a dick. And part three was strategies for advancing freedom. The ACLU is using lawsuits and other forms of legal action to challenge the constitutionality of government's actions to insist that the courts demand adherences to the Constitution and the rule of law. That's very important to me because, frankly, in this day and age of extremism, I kind of think that it's really important to get back to the basics of what the Constitution actually stands for. And by the way, no, the Bible is not the Constitution, so kindly leave that out of it. I could quote John Adams in the Tre Treaty of Tripoli if you'd like, but I find that's irrelevant right now in this video. The ACLU is strengthening our national grassroots network of over 50 affiliates that represent individuals who have been victimized and had their individual liberties denied, often relying on such cases to set strong precedents that will protect us all. That's very important to me because I believe that it is important to protect any individual from you know, religious institutions or religious bigots that basically want to deny them their rights or their access to certain services. Uh, the ACLU is standing up to extremists in Congress and state legislatures who are con conducting an all-out ass all assault on reproductive rights, religious liberty, and LGBT equality. This is very important to me because those that deny, again, deny the services to others or basically use means of uh, religious you know means to deny the rights to other individuals is just asinine i mean lgbt equality i mean why do you want to deny another human being of their right to be who they are why would you want to deny the right to another human being the right to their own body why would you want to deny another human being their right to practice another belief? I mean, it's just, th these are really, you know, these are questions that never have gotten a clear-cut answer. And to anybody that wants to challenge me and actually wants to answer those questions, I would really appreciate you answering those. So, just something to think about. The ACLU is standing up to... Uh, oh, wait, I read that already. The ACLU runs vigorous media outreach, public education, and grassroots organizing efforts to inform and mobilize people about ways to strengthen and expand individual liberty. This is very important to me because I personally believe that by essentially educating the masses and organizing people, you know, any form of you know, trying to get the message out there is important and trying to basically let people know they do have have certain freedoms, they have certain rights and they need to be aware of this. And that is essentially what all this is about. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement and this has been NorCal Corner.